Okay. Here's my voltage rectifier. The source of my problem, of my confusion, is that I have three wires here. And they're each connected to their own separate connector. They don't appear to be tied together in any way. And, and I'm really not understanding which wires need to be pulled off and connected together. I would assume it would be these two, except from looking at the schematic, it makes it look like there's two opposite legs of, alter, of AC electricity on each one of these. And that can't be right to connect those together. You just don't do that. Um, at least that's my understanding. There's a, this is marked AC and down here is marked B plus, which I presume means battery plus, battery positive. All right. <clears throat> now when I got the generator, this pin here was attached to number eight. I was going to try to be methodical and uh, set the generator back to its defaults. So I hooked up wire number eight to pin number eight. But I suspect that if I, then this seems to go in the general vicinity of where the alternator probably is. I suspect if I put this back on 8 and try to start it, I bet you it'll run. Alright. I've connected my black wire right here to pin number 8. Everything is more or less back together the way it was when I found it, other than the things that I've cleaned up, like the carb and, and the spark plugs and, and all of that. So now I'm going to attempt to start it up without jumping the board. And I think the alternator wire going to pin 8 will provide the electricity that the board needs to keep, the, uh, to keep it running. Here goes nothing. thought that was going to work. Okay. Pin 9, pin 9, there's pin 9. Oh hell! I forgot, my wife called me at work complaining about the gasoline smell because I had left because I had left the gas cap off the one gallon can that's how houses explode she said <clears throat> alright to be continued goodness gracious sakes alive that girl what am I going to do with her Hmm. Okay, well. Why is it so dark in here? No, nah, that one's number nine. Okay, that's a new behavior.
previously, it wouldn't start unless jumpered, and then would only run while it was jumpered. In removing the jumper would cause it to stop. But now that I've replaced that wire from the alternator to pin number eight, it keeps running once it's started. Once it's running, and it will only stop if I hold down the on the stop button. Okay, a new set of behaviors. Hooray! Just what, just what I needed.